AF TV, we are down here at White Hart, the new and the new White Hart Lane um, to preview the game. Arsenal taking on Tottenham, the North London derby, a different North London derby because I, for one, I was kind of looking forward to coming here to their new grounds to, you know, see what the atmosphere would be like. Would it be the same? Would it be the hostile as it usually is coming down here? Um, but it would have been good to have got in this stadium and put one on over them in their new ground, but there's going to be no fans there. There's going to be no one here whatsoever to watch the game. We're all going to be watching it from afar, but I still think it's going to be a really intense game. DT, first of all, I want you to be 100% honest now, yeah? yeah? Hold your hand up like this and say, I shall be honest. I shall be honest. What do you think of their grounds? But there's a reason why I'm wearing this mask. Right, well, it's with coronavirus. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with COVID why I'm wearing this mask. Do you know what I mean? I ain't been wearing this mask for the last few weeks, but the moment I come here, I'm like, right, I need to get protected. I was looking to buy one of them big shields that, you know, you put over your face, the full PPE, man. That's why I came here. Well, be real, though, be real. What do you think of it? Um, yeah, you know what? It, it looks nice. It does look nice. Um, mm. It looks very much like the Emirates. If you, when you go in it, I've actually been inside there. I was there for the, uh, when we had the uh, North London Derby, the women's team, and I went in mm. there. It is nice. Yeah. And when you go inside, it is very similar to the Emirates, the, the way it sort yeah. of slopes. Yeah, you and can see inside. the curves. And yeah. even around the other side, their front entrance, they have the steps yeah. that go up. Just, Which is very similar. Yeah, yeah. very similar. Um, they always want to be us. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like I bet upgrade, you any money, it? your trophy cabinet's not the same as ours, though. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie's thinking, oh my God, stop on the middle of the street outside the stadium. He's looking everywhere. Now. They're coming. Where are they? Where are they? I told right? you, they're in Hertfordshire protecting statues. <laughs> Come on. But, but listen, um, looking forward to it, though. Looking forward to yeah, it. It I is am. a shame. It is a shame that we ain't going to be here. This is the one game of all of them that I'm like... Mm. I'm going to miss this. I'm going to yeah. miss coming down here. Mm. The atmosphere between the two sets of fans, the hostility yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Keeping it friendly, if, if possible, as it can be on the day. But I'm going to miss it. Um, but I'm looking forward to the game still. It's going to be a really exciting um, game on the day. Um, and they're not in great shape at the moment, are no, they? No, they're not. Although that will go out the window, yeah, we know. Yeah, the thing about uh, derbies, any derby, is that form goes out of the window. Mm. Um, but the one thing that I will say about, um, you know, Tottenham is that at the moment, they've been like so, so poor. Mm. Um, against Bournemouth, they didn't register a single shot Not on a target. single shot, yeah. No team has had no shots on target against Bournemouth since 2015. Wow. You know? The Jose effect. And, and Bournemouth could have nicked it. Yeah, they could have. They could have nicked that you know, game. If that new handball rule that they will bring into effect next year, mm. you know, they would have had that because yeah. it wasn't a deliberate handball or yeah. anything. But yeah, um, Jose's not going to want to lose this. We know that. Yeah, and he's got a good record against us as well, hasn't he? Well, remember, we're under a different manager now. Yeah. You know, he might have had a good record under, you know, Arsene Wenger. Mm. But this is Mikel Arteta. Yeah. And we keep talking about how young, fresh and hungry he is and everything else. And I want to see that kind of approach and mindset from him. Mm. I want him to see him, you know, produce something and, um, you know, pick a team and a formation that can go out there and get the victory. Yeah. You know, it's going to have to be dogged. It's going to have to be resolute. And, you know, at times it's going to have to be like Wolves. Mm. You know, where we're we going to have to defend team. very well because, yeah, we have to. as we said, right, you, yeah, the Bournemouth game and those games that they've had recently, we know they ain't going to play like that against us, right? Mm. It's, it's a game of pride. The winner will, you know, they'd go above us if they beat us. Mm. We'd surge above them. Well, we're, already, if, we're one point ahead, but we go yeah. four points clear with three to yeah, play. Yeah, and, um, you know, there's always that pride of finishing higher. Not that that means much at the it's moment. It's small consolation for this season. Very small consolation, but... It's still always good yeah. to finish above the, your the rivals. The bigger picture, Robbie, is that we've been dreadful this season. We've had three yeah. managers technically. Um, you know, we know all the problems. We know what needs addressing. But what I like and what I try saying to people is that we're not accepting the season. We're not accepting being in the Europa League or even not even Europe at all. Hmm. What we're accepting is that we have made the change and that we're starting to see progression. We're starting to see something a little bit different. Hmm. It's not stagnating it's not the same old same old yeah. where you like 
I'm really looking forward to next season. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but I yeah. am looking forward to it because I'm looking forward to Mikel Arteta's first summer transfer window, you know, a big mm. transfer window. I'm looking to see what we can do. I'm looking to see him implement his ideas with his players. So as a fan, it's something to look forward to. Mm. I don't know what Tottenham have got to look forward to. Funny thing is about it is that normally we've been playing them over the years and we've had the managerial problems. They've, we've had the problems with Arsene Wenger and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, at the moment, I've heard a lot of noises coming from their fans that they're very unhappy mm. with Mourinho. That's the, the, and the style of play. And, and I don't know what, at the moment, mm. under Pochettino, we begrudgingly knew what their style was. They, yeah. I mean, they, they were attacking, they were aggressive. They pressed high. Under Marino, you don't really know what the style is, do you? It's no. a bit like when he was at Man United as well. Yep. You don't know what the style is. Their fans don't know what the style is. There's a lot of rumblings there. Mm -hmm. I think we come into this in a lot better shape than what they come into the yeah. game. But as we all know, it will be a different game. Who's the danger players oh, that we really have to look out for? It has from to be Harry him? Kane. Yeah. Um, despite him looking so off form in recent weeks, um, he turns up against us. Yeah. You know, and I suppose it's only natural that he turns up against his boyhood club. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to put that one in there. Digs off the digs here. Uh, but um, yeah, he's the one. Son also is Son's a danger. Son's dangerous, yeah, yeah. Um, and that Bergwijn as well, look decent yeah, player. Yeah, he's, he, he's dangerous. They have got, we have to be real, they've got some decent players throughout their team, right? Um, they just don't seem to be gelling as a no. team at the moment. We need to play on the front foot, be aggressive. Yeah. Take the game to them. Let's use our attacking strengths. Yeah. We've got the likes of Saka and Obar and um, Pepe and you mm. know Danny Sabias has been exceptional yeah. in recent weeks. He could be key. Granite Shaka. Yeah. You know that back three and um, what we're going to do with that right wing back position and everything else. It's, mm. it's fascinating. Do you go with the same team, no. more or less, that played? Um, no. 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 All right, what, what's, the, what's your team then? Uh, we go with the same formation, which is a 3-4-3. Three, three. Three I don't back, think yeah. we're going to change that. I don't so think we'll change that, Let's no. keep it there. Martinez, obviously, in goal. Yep. Back three stays the same. Mustafi, Luiz and uh, Kalazanak. Yep. Um, if Cedric's not fit, then I would go with Maitland-Niles in the right wing back position. Right, I don't think that will happen. I don't think it is. The, I'm going the, the with what I want. Okay. okay, the reason why I say the reason why I said it the other day, I think the reason why Ainsley's on the bench is to bring on when we need to, like if he did against he can Wolves. cover left or right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah, I'm so, just saying my preference. Because, yeah, yeah. And the reason why is because of what I've got going in front of me. Yeah, all right. So which Ainsley. is why I want Ainsley or Cedric. If Cedric's fit yeah. and he was only brought out just to game manage him, mm. I'll start Cedric. Yeah. Um, two in the middle, Sabayas and Shaka. Yep. Um, left wing back Tierney, who yep. for me has been exceptional. Yep. Uh, front three, Pepe, over in the middle, Saka on the left. So the reason why I want that behind me... Saka on the left, so no, no Lacazette? No. I'm having over through the middle. Put it this way, the chances that we've been creating over mm. the last few weeks, if it was over in the middle, he'd be finishing them. If he got that header that Lacazette got against Leicester, mm. it's in the net. Even the one that Schmeichel saved, mm. I'm pretty confident that Oba would have probably hit that in the corner and it would be in. Yeah, and then you could bring on, you could bring on Lacazette later and push Oba out to the left if Can need do. be. So That's many like, options. Yeah, so I like many. that team. I, I think like that, that team. front three, it gives us balance. Yeah. And it gives us pace, directness. Mm. And Pepe is going to be, you know, chomping to get a, you know, yeah. a game. Because I get the feeling it's going to be a really tight game because I don't think Mourinho is going to commit. Oh. He's, with what I've seen over his recent games, he's going to be looking to just sit back and catch us on the counter, maybe yeah. get a goal and then try and shut it down in his typical like early Chelsea days. The only thing, I don't think this is the team that can do that. You no. know what I mean? I'm, I, I'm not too, I, I think their defence is vulnerable. It's oh, not, it's massively vulnerable. It's not as good as it used to be. You know what I mean? All the virals getting a bit old. It's not as good as that team used to be defensively either, no. especially even, you know, their midfield is decent with that Lacelso and, and that, fullbacks. but it's not they're as fullbacks. good. I, yeah. want, I want Saka on that left-hand side to go at Aurier. Yeah, yeah. I want Pepe on that uh, right-hand side to go at Davis, I think it is, mm. that's there. Yeah, Ben Davis. Go at them. Yeah. Be on the front foot, be forceful, take the game to them. Be mm. like we used to be when we used to come here, with no yeah. fear. We used to do previews here and we were like, all right, we'll get a win. Mm. It's comfortable, we knew. Yeah. They might drop recent times, in 10 minutes. Recent times, I mean, obviously, the last game was at Wembley. We should have won that, remember? Yeah. So Oba's got... <laughs> we missed that penalty. You know, he's got one... You yeah. know, he owes them one. Yeah, yeah, he, he does. He owes them lot one. Yeah, he you does. Know, and the way they keep mocking him for that. So let's go and deal with it, man. Yeah, well, I'm sure that... You know, one thing I know is that Mikel Arteta is going to have the players pumped up for this. 
Mourinho's always got a horrible relationship with Arsenal fans, so he'll want to win this. He's been stoking it up before this game because as well with some got. of the things he Have said. Have you not noticed that's all he's got now? Mm. It's all he's got. Because if you really trusted in your team, you would let them go do the talking. Mm. But he can't. He has to talk it up and try and rattle us in any way, shape mm. or form. But it put don't. a dagger through his heart if he lost this. Of course it will. Because the fans will really, yeah. you know, with, because with the recent games he's, that they, mm -hmm. how they've played, if he was to lose this game, I could see their fans really turning yeah, on. Yeah, this could be the which dagger. Which would be sweet. Yeah, this <laughs> but, could be the dagger that finishes his, his time at Tottenham. Well, I don't know about finishes his time. No, because Tottenham time. fans don't want him. There's calls, there's petitions yeah, but going for think, Pochettino to return. I think Levy's put so much into bringing him in and that, that I just can't see them no, replacing you know him at this is. stage. But you know what it is? I've told you already, yeah? They can't sack Mourinho because it would cost too much to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. And Tottenham are on benefits. I've told you this already. <laughs> they are the club that are on benefits well, in the Premier League. Well, they've got this to pay, you see, the thing is, yeah, right? Yeah, budgeting loan. What's it, nearly a billion it costs? Budgeting loan. And they've got to pay for that, budgeting man. Loan. We know all about that, don't they, we? They went to Boris and asked for a budgeting loan. Well, you we say that, <laughs> but old Uncle Stan's paid off the stadium Well, that's now, the rumour. That's, that's the rumour that he's paid off. for another day. That's we'll another that topic. Podcast, yeah, we, we will, I mean? we will, because um, that is a rumour that it's all paid off. But they've got, and you think about it, they've been, you know, depending on... Because remember, this is like half an American football stadium as well. Yeah, they haven't yeah. got none of that. They haven't got, you know, on the concerts that would, they would have had been going on at this time. So you never know. I'm telling that's you, this, they're, go, they're going to go through. For them. They're going to go through. Well, that's what we got to do. They're going to yeah. go through what we've had to go through for a long time. But um, looking forward to the game on Sunday, um, 4.30 kickoff prediction. It's always tight, especially in recent years. I'm going 2-1. Two 2-1 one. Two one win. 2-1 two win. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. It's going to be taking place here with no fans at the new White Art Lane. Arsenal versus Tottenham, or should I say it the other way around, Tottenham versus Arsenal. The North London derby, it's going to be big.